Dos Ghibli Mati per me. Ma è ok, è una parte del progetto. So you need more, you, you basically need more students, but you also need more teachers, more skills. Now, I mean, for now it's, it's good, you know, because we have five children yeah. and I'm here with me and with them and I, I feel like I can manage mm. the five of them, but with whom, if we will have more children, more help will be nice. Yeah. Or even now, if I would get more help, it would be always nice because then we can do more individualized work. You know, I can be working with one children in one thing and the others can be with the other adults. Or maybe we can start cooking with them. Mm. I would love that, but for now, it's difficult for me to manage everything. Yeah. So, uh, you have been, you, I heard from uh, Eduardo, you have been doing these kind of things in different countries also? Yes, I worked in, in Latvia in a Waldorf school and then in Romania in a forest school and also I, I was teaching in Nepal for a year, that was it, <laughs> yes. How was it in Nepal? It was very nice, the experience to be there, but the school wasn't, it was just a traditional school there, you know, if kids. To learn. What are you saying? Are you, can you please repeat that? Because I'm going to post okay. it in the video. All right. So, the method is more or less every children has their uh, balance and there's the. What do you say? You prefer that I have the camera that way and they're not inside? Then we make you shy to talk? No, I'm not shy. I'm not shy. I'm just looking for the English word that I don't, uh. that I, that I don't know. Okay. Well, every every children has their flows. First, one children wants to learn more this. What other children wants to learn more that, and we have to put the tools in front of them, and they choose what they want to learn. Right. Yeah. And uh, well, in the first cycle, they have almost the same the same things and maths and Portuguese or English, uh, but in very levels. But are. There is some children, very young children, that want to learn the things from the fourth grade. Yeah, they can sometimes, yeah. In the end, they can. I have a daughter like that. And they can. So, if they are more interested in, in, in learning that, they will learn that. And then, uh, next year, they will learn the, the first year. And uh, they work mostly in group. So, they learn with, it, with each other. When someone learns something and knows, because they have a... A book that we made for him, yeah. or for them, yeah. and they know exactly what they know already, and when, when the, what is missing. Right. And so, when the children, when the child knows some something, it, it can ask the, the 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 other the other kid that already knows that to to explain. Right. And then it's good for both because the 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 child that already knows this. When the, he's explaining to other kids, he's learning again. That's true. Yeah. And That's the knowledge is going to also. is going to be <laughs> part of him. Yeah. And that uh, what is most most important in this school that um, learning is meaningful. Yeah. yeah. Is made about experience, personal experience. When I when I when I uh, come back, I will send you a link to one of the videos. I, I don't think it's a public video. I will send it to you because it's about education also. Right. And then uh, maybe on the basis of that we can uh, see how we can uh, organize a program for the next huh? That was perfect. And uh, even if I only come for a few months per year then, then uh, it's a good start. Yes, just to give it some, some clues. Yeah. Yes, thank you. It changed because of the Portuguese re re revolution in 75. Before 75 was the old regime and the schools were sep were boys were in in one place and girls in in the other place like this school has two parts and one block in the middle where the professors come to live because they came from abroad there was no prof professors here in the small villages so they sleep here and had 
these two these two blocks these two rooms for boys and for girls and it, this is all over the country this model of this school like this there is another models but this is one of them but they were different ages at the same time um this is a primer primary school just just the first cycle to the fourth grade right here so they all were in the same class but not more and, than they were and now, and now the kids they work on project basis right a little bit like montessori but a little bit more open maybe yes they are starting to to start with that um, uh, method of learning with projects because they just uh, finished the alphabetization part Right. You they said first uh, have to read and 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 uh, and, and make uh, and make uh, maps. You said the before. basics and they didn't do it well. And when they do this, they are starting to make their own projects because now they can they can search they can search for uh, information in books in the in the, in the internet and can and they, they can they can make their works. Organized. They teams they will choose uh, uh, some project and then they have to plan it. They have to, they have timings to do this, and the future is is here. And and us two fathers, of course, our fa uh, we fathers work in this school too. And um, and we give them um, uh, um, they, they, we help them to plan this. How to faces first they have to do this, then you, you can do that and help them to do this. Mm -hmm. But they for their own they are searching their their the information and the. And the teams they are looking for. Mm -hmm. Last one was um, was from the volcanoes because we are in Pico and they thought bring that uh, issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said before there was a growth in a project like this, like thirty percent growth or something like this. Yes, in Portugal, there are this year there are three times more families putting the kids in their home uh, schooling. Project so like this, this is a this is a big difference. Mm -hmm. This is really a big mm -hmm. a big difference. And uh, well, people are are starting to feel that. Mm -hmm. He's from here. Okay. The wasp also. <laughs> You're standing in his territory. He's trying to bite you. <laughs> so maybe you can uh, visit yeah. the Let's school. Go they are doing something. I think they are playing. Let's go inside. Starting projects and uh, things like this, is it in non-formal education and this yes, kind of project? Yes. Because after I graduated, I started working in a regular school and I thought that was not... What kind of school? A re regular one. Right, right, regular school. Public one. Not your thing. <laughs> yeah, and I, it wasn't for me, so... Yeah, I can imagine that. I, I went to regular school, you know, my whole youth, so... And, if you and that was enough defense. to realize. I, I feel very bad about having to send my children to there. I, I was working on this idea for Project Ori a long time, way before I ever thought that my, I was going to have a wife even. <laughs> so, uh, but it's very difficult to realize because you need parents. Mm -hmm. you need parents. So you have to reach out to parents. And if you have a subsidizement, you can start producing a booklet that you can send out and you can promote and uh, have, have a website where people can download it or something like this. Mm -hmm. So then they can become interested and they can start uh, start getting further with it. And the subsidization makes a lot of things possible. Yes. Yes, that is for sure. In, in, in starting projects, I think it's, 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 very, it's, it's very, very important. But then of course it has to become financially viable. So you have to do side things to make sure that there's always this, it's this support coming. Yeah, there's a support coming. Yeah. And when you can make it, like you have this article, the journalist, you have to make, stay in contact with the journalist yes, that yes, wrote about it. Yes. And you have to update him like every three months or every half year about progression or something like this. Yes. Yeah, that is how it goes it nowadays. Be, yeah. Right? So that he can every now and then he can make a report that he thinks like, oh, actually it's going very well. Like yeah. if we are in May coming together and we talk about these kind of things and we make more definite plans because we already done a lot of things, then at that moment you can just send like, oh, we're asking for subsidizement. Yes. Yes, we have to have a motive to to ask to ask for for, for this. For, for you don't have to ask them anything. You just send them stuff. When it becomes interesting enough, you know they will want to write about it because their newspaper needs readers. Yes, yes, newspapers. Yes, but the 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 support, financial support. That we have to have a motive. We have to have a reason, a, a specific reason, and yeah. in, in a. In a a kind of a project. Yeah. But yeah. European Commission is given a lot of support to this kind of project. 
Yeah. We just need to know how to write it yeah. and then do the applications. There's, there's organizations most for it. it's approved. Yeah. There's I, or that's the idea I have because I know people that work only on that, mm -hmm. work writing applications and yes. they always get approved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have to know exactly how to write it. That's yes. true. Yeah. And you have to present yourself. We can, you have do to, that. we can do that. You have to illustrate yourself. So you have to show what did you do? What did you do as a preparation work? Why are you why are you viable? So the newspaper article, clipping, and the website and all the environment that you already create around it. It shows that you're professionally busy developing this. Uh, plans and ideas and ideals from everybody involved and stuff like this. What, where do they want to go to? What is your shared idea and ideal and stuff like this? All these kind of things, they're all required for that because they want to know if you're serious or not. Mm -hmm. And the, the partnerships that you have yes, locally. Exactly. Local and uh, in our case and internationally. And I, I get it in the Netherlands because if I take it and with me back to the Netherlands as a subsidiary, because that's the idea then, that I also contribute to Dutch education. So that's, that's what they want, right? They want innovation and they need innovation because, you know, they have a problem because they take away in the Netherlands all, health, all physical exercise as healthcare to support students. And now they have to start reintroducing it, but how do you reintroduce it without creating the same kind of problems that they had before? So then, if you take another kind of sport, or another kind of function for the sports, then it's only much better. Mm -hmm. In China, it's, uh, it's very handy because they have this automatic uh, thing that they do, that they, every morning, uh, they start with exercises for a half hour. The students don't like it, so they're like, ah, ah, ah. But they have to do it. They have That's one thing. Lines yes, outside. they say the lines outside, military style. Also in Nepal, they were doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was It's all based on German culture. <laughs> Nazi, uh, Nazi culture. That's the origin, Germany. Yeah, the Nazi culture. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they were not very careful with their bodies, you know. Sometimes they were doing it completely in the wrong way. And yeah, yeah. It could yeah. damage them. Because the instructors were not suitable. So you, you have to pay attention to how, how to how to train people who have to stand in front of the class. And you cannot ask for every teacher to do exercise with our students, so you need people specifically for that purpose. And then if you if you want to employ them, you have to employ them for several things, otherwise that's expensive. So that, that's where the idea comes from. You want to have people multi multi purpose they use as they use your place to do it. There's a person living here. Yes. So you're going to be a big education boss, maybe. Yeah. No You're going to become <laughs> Minister of Education for the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be. It would be very talented. And their fathers and grandfathers and all the family are teachers. Right. Really? Yes. So you're a lineage of teachers. Yes, this you, you know have what? to put into your papers. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is a particular thing. Yeah. But this one is free and we can use it whenever we want. So you also pay for the rent for that? No, it's... Oh, okay. It's How much rent do you pay for a place like this? I don't know because I'm new here, but I pay 125 for my house where I live. Right, that's very cheap. Yes. It's a very small house, I guess. It has, it's, it's really nice. It has two rooms, uh, two... It has like kitchen, living room, plus two bedrooms and really? one toilet. Here in the village? Yes. Wow, I, I want to live there too. <laughs> and then it has a huge garden. It's super nice, but it is cheap even for here, I think. I right, got it for right. a very good price. And you're price. going to get a good overall car. Yes. That's the nice thing about being a girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, and then but you don't know what the school, what you pay for the school for rent. We don't pay anything for the school. It's an offer from the um, municipal. municipality. Yes. Oh, right. Oh, that's very good. And this is our bathroom. Oh, yeah. But they are at least more than any share them with the families. No, it's only ours. We have the keys and usually we open it in the morning and then lock it in the evening. Right. It's right. only for us. So you see, we need to come here to put yeah. the dishes and... Oh, the dishes also here. the dishes because we don't have a water yeah, system water there. inside. But there's water there. It's just no system. You don't know. There is no, uh, it, it would be possible to bring the water and make a tap there, according to I was told, what I was told, but so far we don't have any water inside the class. Can, can I get this place? You have this many place, graves? This place, we 
you must cal calculate uh, how many feet that uh, are in this uh, land. Right. Because uh, if it has too many feet, it will be ruined. So yeah. we don't want that. Yeah. But uh, this place, you have uh, permission from the owner to uh, take yes, tourists it's, it's here? It's a, pro a pro professor from Evra that make the uh, ar archaeological places that found most of the ar archaeological places here in the region. Right. And this place is from uh, his father. And uh, I asked them, I asked him if I could take bring here on. some interesting people yeah. to know this place. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Take care about the feet. And there is there over there this, this, go. this one village, you say, pre-Roman? Yeah, pre-Roman uh, near here. Could go there after, but uh, what, what is it called it again? Castro. 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 Yes. Okay. There's a lot of Neolithic graves here. A lot of medieval graves, and uh, since the megalithic, we have here registers since the megalithic and through all the periods of history here. Right. Ev uh, since ever, we have uh, signs of people living here. Right. In this region. So this is ancient ancestral yes. land. Much better. We have water. We have trees. And nature is alive, so I think it's the perfect place for people to live. It would be a great place to root Taoism here. <laughs> I have a lot of tunchi.